Yeah, so if you just fall on the brake and push down, then your part brake comes off. Okay, uh, just... Yeah, like we had on the last one, so the trigger on the back to engage forward and reverse. Yeah. But if you want to, so for shuttling, if you're shuttling around the yard, if you press the trigger and just tap to the left, yeah. it'll do it's a forward shooting. reverse shuttle as well. So so this is, J we call this JCB Pro mode. It's, it's very different to the joystick configuration on the, on the previous gen. Yeah. But if you prefer JCB Classic, where left and right was speaking, yeah, to, yeah. you can you can go in and select that and change it back. So oh. I think you know, the majority of people prefer the new system from what we've the feedback we've had. Well, there you go, proofs in the point. I've literally just jumped on and started driving it. How you kind of expect? Yeah, exactly, yeah. And then what have you got? Are you on so left? so left and right. So I think if you over to the right, the first detent will, will drop it down on the timer. Well, there we go. Oh, well, there we go. Hit the timer. So I can do that, or we can go pedal, or we can go back to that. And like I say, if you could just, so that's in, is that a cruise that? Yeah, so that's that, this roller speed control, so All if right, you just, so just, can just that. give that a little tweak. So you've got cruise one and cruise two, so you activate those before you do that, and then it... So they're completely independent. Oh, they're setting. independent, yeah, right. these, so, so this is like a live cruise. So you don't have to have anything preset, yeah. um, but you can in high and range, you've got two cruise speeds you can set. So you can go into the screen, you can set them manually if you know what your speeds need to yeah. be, um, or you can tap on them and use the, the thumb scroller to uh, to set your speed. So so that thumb roller does a, a, a couple of jobs, really. It sets, presets your cruise speeds before you activate them. But if you just tap it to the right, it gives you a live cruise uh, yeah. from whatever speed you're doing there. So I can literally just come out of Edland, switch to my fault, and then send it around and back to Lever again. Exactly, yeah. I've put, um, so I think two and four, I've, I've, just to make it easier, I've put uh, four wheel drive and diff on there. So on that two and four you hit, there. Hit a, bit yeah. of a tough spot, then you've got, you've got diff, lock, diff lock on four. Yeah. Um, and you'll see that, you, so it's a couple of ways. You could either tap them on the screen, you can press the buttons on that I've set on the joystick, or you've still got your hard keys up on the, uh, the right hand side on the B pillar where they always were. So that speed I got up to my foot, I could then do that. Then. Yeah, and now you're just on your just right. controlling speed on, on. What you could have done as well is just tap tap the uh, joystick, it would do the same thing, just hold the speed there yeah. until you nudge it forwards or ease it back on the joystick. Just where your speed is on the main screen, you can see what that shows you what mode you're in, but it doesn't. So yeah, sorry, that's just a display. Right, so yeah, so, so you've got the little rocker there, so below low range yeah. of the, the rocker. So I'm in that, all right, so yeah. if I come out of that yeah, straight and stick. Yeah. So that helps you. Switch to pedal. Exactly, yeah. Helps you to yeah. glance down, remember what's, but actually it doesn't really matter because you don't want to be in that mode anymore. You just, no. you just take over. You don't need to, there's no sort of panic as you get into the headroom to think, ah. Oh. There's not, it's like, oh my God, I need to switch out of that. It's like, no. Just, just let the tractor do it. And then like, you know, if you are on uh, karting duties, you can come flying into a field, you know, you're on the pedal mode, it's like, all right, I'm on stick mode. And exactly, yeah, yeah. Just Easy do, just thing, do yeah. it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's exactly right. That's, that's, why should there be an extra step in the process? Yeah. Why do you need to think, oh, well, for this job or for this thing, I need to be in, yeah. The drive modes, as simple as they were, yeah. they still require a little bit of pre-thought to think, oh, well, for that job, what do I need to do? Yeah. On this worst case, if you're not quite in the right drive mode for how you want to do yeah. it, then just just flick over. You're not finding a button. You're not going into the screen yeah. to change anything. So these cruises that are up there now, if I wanted to activate one of these cruises, yeah, so, what would I do? So if we, if you just tap cruise one, for example, you see that's pre-selected. So if you go onto the thumb scroller now, wind you can it, wind that down. So yeah, probably don't want 26, 25. No, okay, no, 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 <laughs> just being slightly giddy, and you see you've got quite fine control of that yeah. or, or rapid control if you want to. I say it speeds up as it uh, as you hold it more. There we go. So, so we pull that down to five, yeah. Five, yeah. If you tap cruise one Oops. again, it'll engage that cruise now at, uh, at 5K. In theory, there we go. Oh, there we go, it's done it for me. Yep, so you just, so it lights up green, that's it. Right. And can I adjust that as I'm in it as well? Yeah. Oh, yes. So you can, again, like with that live cruise, the, the main benefit of the live cruise is you don't need to have thought about this beforehand. You no, no, you just do it, don't you? Just do it on the fly as, as you need. And then I could just, I'm out of it then. Exactly, yeah, and then you're ready for the headland. So the... And it doesn't cancel it dead either. You don't have to hover the pedal or anything stupid like that. No, like no. Potential of the manufacturing. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, yeah, that's the idea. You just drop it, just, there's, there's no gap. It's seamless. You just no. move from one to the other. The other thing is you can, if you get lined up with this head, then if you want to go straight into that cruise speed you've set, you know, yeah. you want to take off of that. 
there's no, you don't on the previous fast track to engage a cruise you had to have a certain amount of forward speed and a certain engine rpm so before, we can just dive into it so now, you can just it? dive straight into it it'll go from a standstill as well so you don't need any forward right. on the tractor when you when you come into the screen you have to accept all the settings so you accept you know the control layout and yeah. you accept what the cruises have been set at you basically say yeah i know what i'm in charge of this i know what yeah. i'm doing so you can go off from a, from a standing start on it you don't need to yeah sort of, there's no prerequisite of engine speed or or forward speed on the track. literally drive this however way you want to yeah, exactly yeah whatever style you want to do whatever yeah. job it is yeah. just do what you want how you want exactly yeah that's pretty the, much yeah and i'm not bigging you up there. i'm just <laughs> saying that's what you've actually gone and done well that's yeah and, that, and that's it actually when we first started the project it wasn't the main focus was was around the technology and around sort of you know yeah. there's some things that we knew were missing from the tractor that you know have been requirements for years and years that we we've brought in but we've also redefined the operation to make it yeah. even easier than it was before or if you want to i mean you could drive this in a very complicated way if you wanted to yeah you could be setting everything you can be manually operating if you wanted to but you know we'll take a little bit of the load off the driver you can concentrate is the cultivator doing a decent job you can you're sort of you're happy you're comfortable in the seat you know yeah. you're not finishing the day you know, completely frazzled because you've yeah. been having to drive a bit of nasa kit in the field well, that's all for that day we spent set, trying to set the darn thing up as well so, so one of the other things i've just uh, well, while i've been sat here i've yeah. really remembered actually is what uh, you just seen yeah, i've just seen and what have i just done <laughs> so one of the other big things we've changed i know we talked about the cab frame and sort of you know keeping that the cab looks the same, it's the same shape. What we have changed is, is the actual doors on this machine. So, so both the four and the eight have got new door, it's a new glass frame, uh, latch position and hinge design on it. Yeah. So there's a bit more structural rigidity in the doors. The latch is, is higher up the door frame and we've got square corners on the frame as well. So it actually improves the seal between the, right. the cab. So we've, we've uh, yeah, made a few changes really to make sure that we've got the best seal we can on the, yeah. the doors. So. Uh, and it's e easier than it was before to get out with cab. So you've got a grab rail, yeah. uh, grab rail handle here before you had to reach down to, uh, to open it. We'll have a bit more of a close look at GPS on one of the other tractors, but we have got GPS set up on here as well if you wanted to have a look. So I've set five as your auto steering gauge. If you swipe that screen, just swipe it over the other way. Well, you can keep going all the way around. We go all the way around. Yeah, there you go. So you've got a GPS screen there. Yeah. So if we go in, so, if, so we've got the field set up here. Um, just end the current task that'll clear all the uh, sort of the coverage that we've got on there from from previous. Uh, start the operation. If you, you wanted to name that whatever you wanted to, so you can call that test. Or there we go. So you've created a a new task there. Uh, if you hit play, top, and then you, you've got your AB guidance line. So it's a fourth box down there. So it's basically you've got your auto steer and then yeah. uh, your AB lines at the bottom. Uh, that one at the top there. This one? Yeah, that's the one. That's the one we set up. Cool. Got it. Yeah, that's the one. And then just X will close that and make it minimised. Uh, so yeah, you should be able to pick one of those up and then I'll say I put auto steer onto button five for you. We, we haven't got a dedicated auto steer engage button on these. We, put it where you want. Yeah, and, and five seems to be the one where people like to do it. It's nice, yeah. easy to get to. But likewise, if you were using your auxiliary joystick a lot, you might want to put it on there. Mm. You put a shuttle on there as well. So that's another nice thing is that if, you, if you're doing some yeah. work and you, you want to be able to shuttle on the uh, on a button, you can do. Job done, eh? Hands-free <laughs> operation, yeah. <laughs> Just like that. Well, I think for today's session um like i say it is just a uh, a first impression today we've got loads of information from tom hopefully maybe at a later date we'll do a full-on uh, test drive for you know a week or whatever something like that but for now tom thank you very much for your time that's been absolutely spot on great insight into uh, the latest development of the fast track icon uh it's been great so hopefully you guys have enjoyed that and as ever, yeah, go check out Lampower TV for a shed more load uh, reviews, custom reviews, things like this, videos like this, first impressions, test drives, you name it, it's all on there. Go check out LampowerTV.com and we will see you again next time. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>